there's some ground rules that the whistleblower has to follow from the start. It's not like they can go call up Wall Street Journal and do things. You want to explain a little bit about that. If if someone calls up uh, a law firm and says, hey, I work at X and I would like to report bad conduct as a whistleblower. Great. So sometimes there's this, um, you have to exhaust all your administrative options. So you maybe have to go internally and report the wrongdoing before you go to the media or to Congress and try to get the problem resolved. Lots of times people don't even know any of this, though. You know, they don't even think of what they're doing as whistleblowing. They're trying to get somebody to prevent harm, right? So if you know water is being contaminated or people are being poisoned, um, you want to do something about it as soon as possible, and you don't even think about the proper channels and the proper procedures. You just want to act because you feel so compelled by the harm that you're witnessing. So, I mean, people don't always stop and find the right time. I mean, we're not a law firm. I do a peer support program. We're very psychosocial based. And I always ask people, have you talked to an attorney before you do anything else? Know legally what your rights are and if you're protected before you even tell me too much. Because any of this now that comes out in discovery really has to have been done with a proper protocol in place and and properly done.